Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you all of my spring makeup bag essentials. And of course I've included all these products in a makeup tutorial. And this is the final look, so I really like it because it's very simple but a little bit colorful. So if you're interested which makeup products are my spring essentials and how I've created this makeup look, then you should definitely keep on watching. So like in every other single makeup tutorial, I will start with the eyes and prime them with the same concealer as always. It's the Maybelline Instant Antique Rind Concealer. And just put a little bit on and then I blend it out with my beloved Soeva blending brush. And now set my eyelids with the New Delusion Translucent Powder. And for this makeup look I will skip eyeshadow completely today. And the main reason for that is because when it gets warm outside I don't want my makeup and eyeshadow to be everywhere. And instead of that I'm taking only a black eyeliner. And it's the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. That's definitely my favorite eyeliner of all time. It's so beautiful and so precise, so you can draw an extremely precise wing. But the only problem is it's pretty expensive, but it has the most precise tip I've ever seen. So I'm going to use it today and I will just line my lash line and do a little flick. And of course I will speed it up because it takes me literally forever. So eyeliner is done and I just forgot to mention why I prefer this eyeliner for my spring makeup looks and that's pretty easy because um, it stays in place the whole day long. I don't think that it's waterproof. No, it's not a waterproof eyeliner but it says that it's a long wheel liquid eyeliner and that's true because um, it stays in place and it also doesn't get crusty during the day, if you know what I mean. And especially when it's warm outside, I want my eyeliner to stay in place because when I'm sweating, I don't want my eyeliner to be all over the face. So that's the reason why I prefer this eyeliner. And now moving on to lashes and here I'm taking the wonderfully real mascara. And yeah guys, I know maybe it's getting a little bit boring for you because I mentioned this in every single or every second video and it's just perfect for spring and summertime and for the whole year I would say because it stays in place, it separates the lashes, it gives length and volume and my lashes always look good when I'm wearing it. So that's the reason why I just use it today. I don't know, I'm always making such a weird face but that's just because I don't want my lashes to touch my eyelid. I have a few black dots on my eyelids but I will just let them dry down completely and then I will just remove it with the buffer brush that I've used before. Just in case if you're wondering why I've primed my eyelid, um, it's not to make the eyeliner stay in place, it's just because my eyelids are very purpley and blue, especially in the inner corners. So I really like to apply the concealer alone, even if I'm not applying any eyeshadow. It's just to cover the discoloration. And I really don't know why I use my hands so much and just put it into the air, but I don't know what to do with my hands. So sorry, my boyfriend is always laughing at me because he says that it looks so ridiculous and funny, but that's just me. Let's move on to the rest of my face. And I need my bunny ears because I don't want my foundation to be in my hair. But let's move on with primer. And here I've got the Catrice Prime and Fine Aqua Fresh Hydro Primer. And um, I love this since summer 2019 because it gives my skin a little bit of moisture and my foundation always looks good on top of it. So that's the reason why I also like to use it now in the springtime because when it's warm outside I don't need an extremely moisturizing primer. It also feels like a face moisturizer so I really like it, I like the result. So, yeah. Because I normal... Okay, that's too much, <laughs> that's too much. Okay, I normally have a normal to dry skin but when it's warm outside, especially now in the spring and summertime, I have normal skin 
For foundation, I'm taking the L'Oreal Perfect Match Foundation and I use this now since September 2019. For springtime, I think this is the perfect foundation because um, it has a medium coverage and it also gives my skin always a little bit of a dewy and healthy glow, so not too much um, like I want to have it in fall and winter time, but it looks very good and I just apply it with my damp beauty sponge. Moving on to concealer and here I've got the Instant Anti-Age Rewind Concealer um, and it's the same that I've used on my eyelids. Okay, another product that I really love using and that's just because it's a full coverage concealer and yeah, it cancels out all the discoloration underneath my eyes and it also doesn't dry out my ombre area. I just love this concealer, it always looks so good and it also matches to the foundation that I've used today. To set everything in place I'm taking the same powder like before, the New Delusion powder by Catrice. And to be honest I only have two loose powders, this and the Rimmel one. And yeah, I somehow prefer this a little bit over the Rimmel one because I use this now for four years and I always go back to this, I always use this because I know it sets my concealer in place, my concealer stays in place the whole day long and it doesn't dry out my under eye area and yeah, it just looks good, it's only a few bucks so pretty affordable. Now moving on to, of course my eyes again. So I just do my lower lashes with the same mascara. Um, that's a little bit difficult with this mascara, so if you have a smaller one for your lower lashes, then take this one because, I don't know, I, I think that this mascara is perfect for your upper lashes, but for my lower lashes I always touch my under eye area and then I have black dots, but I know first world problems. So let's move on with bronzer and I'm taking the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is definitely one of my favorite bronzers of all time. I have another one that I really like, it's the Max Factor Cream Bronzer. But at the moment I love this a little bit more because it fits better to my skin color and it looks very natural. I really like the texture because it's very buttery, very soft, very easy to apply and to blend out. And the best thing about this product is the scent, it's amazing. So enough bronzer, let's move on to blush and here I'm taking the Matte Touch Blush by Essence in the shade 20 Berry Me Up. It was really hard to decide which blush should be my go-to spring blush for this year because I have another one from Catrice and that's a more peachy blush. But I decided to pick this one because it has a little bit more color. It's not as peachy as um, the one from Catrice. Uh, but I want my spring blush to be a little bit more colorful and not extremely um, peachy and nudie. So next time for highlighter and here I'm taking the Essence Insta Perfect Liquid Highlighter. And if you've seen my March Favorites video you will also recognize this little guy again. Um, yeah, because that's definitely my favorite highlighter at the moment and I just like it. It's a liquid highlighter and the color is so beautiful. The result is always very natural if I'm only applying a few dots. So I hope you can see the glow. I really like the result so far. And the last thing that's missing are the lips. And here I'm taking the YSL uh, lipstick in the shade Rouge Pour Couture and it's a very beautiful and pinky lipstick. It fits to my nails. It's a little bit uh, brighter than my nails and um, I know that this brand is a little bit expensive. Um, that's the only product I have from this brand. Um, it's uh, definitely a good brand but it's uh, too, uh, too, too, too expensive in my opinion. But this was a present, it's only a sample size and I got it from a friend. And today I just decided to take this one because I think this is the perfect lipstick color for springtime. So guys, now this is the finished makeup look with all of my spring makeup essentials. And I really like how it turned out because it's very natural but a little bit colorful with this lip color. So I 
really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.